everybody. Hello. Hi. Oh, welcome to 10 Minute Talk Show. Thank you for shrieking in a way. Good to see you. Oh, it's a talk show that's 10 minutes in length. I'm your host, Derek Forge. Oh my God, it's the worst day of the year is coming up, everybody. Y'all ready for Black Friday? Woo! Oh, it's the worst. So Black Friday is happening and uh, the holidays are coming up. So you probably didn't start shopping yet, which is good because our first guest is going to walk you through a way how you can be more eco-friendly during the entire holiday season. Please welcome from the Eco Hub. It's Candace Batista, everybody. Candace! Thank you. Hi. Hi, my dear. Good to see you. It's good to see you. This too. is fun. It is. Happy worst day of the year soon. Black Friday. It's, it's terrible, isn't it? Worst day ever. It is the worst. It's one of my least favorite things in the world. And so that's why I had you here. I want you to walk us through what's a better way to do this. Let's not, not be so uh, such a slave to consumption. So uh, The yeah. biggest tip I have is stop buying so much shit. Stop buying so much <laughs> shit. Thanks, everybody. Like, honestly, Thanks, somebody. <laughs> that is the problem. The it problem is. is consumption and overconsumption. Right. So, uh, I mean, what can people find? Like, when they go to your site, when they go to the eco, the eco hub, when they go there, uh, what, what kind of things can book? they find? To, to I guess, I guess it's, it, there's so... Uh, the stakes are so high and everybody's so stressed and they really don't have to be. And I really do believe that people say it's the thought that counts. It is. So, so how do we capitalize on, uh, on, the, on that thought? How do we make things more thoughtful, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Amazing question. Yeah. Make it yourself. That's really one of the best things right. that you can do is to put a little thought into what the person that you're buying for loves. So let's say, for example, you have someone in your family that loves to cook. Mm. Why not make them some beeswax wraps? Very easy to I do. Like that. You can actually find a demo of that on my website as well. Coming up by this, it'll be on. Yes. We're good. Oh, it's yeah. going to be on. Yeah. Um, well, we're so live, Candace. What are you talking about? This what? is happening in the moment. Um, this, was, <laughs> this, this wasn't three weeks ago, you little scamp. <laughs> <laughs> <Well. laughs> anyway, it's the um, ecohub.ca, everybody. Thank anyway, you sorry. So much. Yes, sorry. Yes, so that's a good place to start. Yes. Or, you know, like make something, cook, bake some cookies. Right. If you love to bake, give cookies, give something that's more meaningful. Meaningful. My like website that. has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of articles on how to live See, more eco-friendly. This is what I'm getting at. I've been doing this for 20 years. Amazing. And it, honestly, I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's a very good resource for people. I've done all of the hard work for you. So you don't have to go and try and find products, find brands. I have a brand directory that's curated for you. I go through seven or eight different criteria that you have wow. to meet to be a part of the brand directory. Amazing. It's all Canadian, so you don't have to worry about being shipped all over the world, oh. which is another major issue. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just being mindful. If I, if I say anything about a takeaway, it's about connecting to the things that you buy. Mm -hmm. Same thing as we connect to our food. The slow food movement right. was such a huge thing, and people farm to table. You can really apply all of those principles to shopping and to yes. just random shit that we bring into our homes. Exactly. Isn't it funny you get to swear on this? I it's love like it. Ha -ha. Shit, uh, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> because we, we know you from the Marilyn Dennis show and you don't get to say that on Marilyn Dennis' show. I can't is, even right? say the word toxic on the are, Marilyn Dennis show. Are you for Dennis real? Show. Oh, yes. Come on. Well, here you can do that shit anytime. Any fucking time you want, Candace. So when you get a whole bunch of reminders about Black Friday from literally every business and every commercial in the world, instead of going to buy stuff, go to the ecohub.ca instead and do a little bit of thought and a little, a little bit of of thinking to make something more mindful. Make sense? Make yes, sense? Thank you. Now you can handle the, the tips for uh, for good uh, uh, eco habits for ho the holidays, but can you handle 10 quick questions? Oh my god. I will, I, will, I will do my best. I know you work on the Marilyn Dennis show, but this is our graphics. <laughs> <laughs> this is our graphics team. We could learn a okay. thing or two. So here we go. 10 quick questions, very simple. I throw 10 quick questions at you. Don't overthink it. You answer quickly, just boom. The first thing comes to your head. Okay, uh -oh. here we go. So here we go. Uh, the hub was the hangout on what sitcom? A Saved by the Bell, B That 70s Show, or C Big Bang Theory? Uh, that 70s Show. It's so correct. That's right. Yeah, there, people are applauding. Uh, name a co worker of yours that is, on the, uh, that is a star on the Scarborough Walk of Fame. Marilyn Dennis. Yeah, buddy, Scarborough Walk of Fame. Uh, a Dominican baseball player who has played for the Jays, the Rays, the Mets, the Orioles, the Braves, the Phillies, and who is not related to you, even though they sound like they are. Jose Bautista. Mm -hmm, that's right. <laughs> Uh, a childhood oh, crush. That, you know, yeah, there's a letter off. I'm not sure that story checks out. Uh, a childhood crush that I grew out of: Candace Bergen or Candace Cameron? Ooh, I would say Cameron. You're, you're exactly. She looks good, though. I mean, she's cute, <laughs> but she seems like insufferable company. Let's move on. Uh, what goes? What milk goes best with an almond almond butter smoothie? Oat milk, goat milk, or cashew milk? Ooh, 
Oh. Don't overthink it. You already overthinking Any it. Any of the above. Any of the above is correct. Anybody? Yes, <laughs> there it's it. Okay, good. Uh, here we go. Number six. Uh, eight maids of milking, seven swans of swimming, or six geese of laying. What's the most practical gift? None Something are... you make yourself. Ah, there you go. None of those are good. <laughs> eight maids of milking is people. You can't give people as gifts. What's with that fucking song? Let's move you, on. You, can, uh, you, you can. can't give people of as a gift. You can. Just slavery's over, it's Candace. So you can't good. do that anymore. Uh, the entire town of Prague eats oatmeal at 10 a.m. on the last Tuesday of November, and they call it Beige Tuesday. True or false? I'm going to go with true. It's so false. What Let's move hell? on. Uh, it doesn't, I made it up entirely, but maybe it'll start now. True or false, you have two leftover Halloween rotting pumpkins on your lawn. False, because pumpkins are very wasteful. Boom. See there. Oh, Colin Shades of Pumpkin. That was not popular. That was not received well. Uh, Tofurky, fake and fake steak, not dogs. Uh, feels like veal or make believe beef. What's the best name for a meat replacer? Feels like beef. Feels like beef? We'll take it. It sure. wasn't one of the options, but I'll allow it. It wasn't? It wasn't. I, I don't know. I said a lot of words. I say a lot of words in this show. And number 10, an inexcusable bad habit that we all need to stop doing immediately. Shopping. <laughs> all right. There you go. The site is the Eco Hub. Please don't fall for the Black Friday trap, but do fall for Candace Batista, would you? Thank you so very much. You're so delightful. Thank yes. You, fall for it. They're going to applaud Thank for you, you so as I walk much. over there. <laughs> Oh my God, oh my God. It's true, and the impressive female uh, parade continues on this very show. Uh, you can catch our next act performing at the uh, the Asian Comedy Show. She's headlining this show. Oh, what, right, it's, it's called Rice. I felt more uncomfortable saying that than Asian Comedy Show. And I was probably corrected by an authentic Asian. She's head. December 1st at the Rivoli. Just get your ass there and get your ass up here, Jennifer, for God's sake. Please, show them how it's done. <laughs> wow, thank you, Derek. The perfect type of racist. So sensitive. Okay. <laughs> well, Candace was talking about uh, shopping and mindless consumption. Uh, I did my part. Uh, the other day, I was at Yorkdale Mall where I belong and um, <laughs> I was I was uh, lining up to use a women's washroom but there was a massive lineup so I went to I went to go for the family washroom and I'm as I'm opening the door um, this woman with a baby and a stroller comes up to me and she goes uh, excuse me the sign says family and I say to her I know I have one why don't you go harass an orphan <laughs> It's a stupid joke, guys. Um, what, what I really want to talk about is that uh, I, am, I am a deep believer in astrology. Thank you. Okay. It, sound, it sounds like I've lost the respect of more than half the room. <laughs> Clearly. Thank you for booing me. Yeah. I, I believe in astrology so deeply that I go so far as to call myself a Zodist. Okay, yeah, so what is, yeah, what is a Zotus? Basically, I discriminate against people based on their astrological sign. I do, let's admit it, okay? All right, so, so I'm a Virgo, and for some, woo, I knew we had a thing, okay? I'm a Virgo, for some strange reason, I just, I don't get along with Geminis, okay? I don't. Um, to me, to me, I'm sorry, like, what's a nice way to put it? Like, Geminis are just fucking crazy <laughs> okay <laughs> all right uh, but don't feel bad if you're a gemini because um my younger son is as well and i also avoid him <laughs> so at least you know i'm fair okay like when i was pregnant with him i literally tried to induce my labor so that he'd come out sooner and be a taurus no such luck, okay? That's the last time I let my husband convince me that anal induces labor. <laughs> FYI, it does not, okay? You should have seen my ass, it was disgusting. The only thing it induced were my hemorrhoids, okay? It looked like it could open up a bubble tea shop. It was just like, oh, one, six, three, so rocky, ah, you will need a very big straw. <laughs> Nom, 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 made ass eating fun. <laughs> Chewy. <laughs> All right, I've disgusted you guys. What I want to say is I want to change my ways about astrology because I think that as a society, as a society, hear me out, right? If we're not cool with racism, we shouldn't be cool with astrology, right? They're basically the same thing. One discriminates against you based on where you are born, the other 
when you are born, right? Whoa, mind pro emoji. Like, whoa, 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 giving life to new ideas, right? Seriously, imagine that shit was reversed. Racism and astrology. You turn on CP24. There was a robbery at Jane and Finch yesterday. Suspects are in their 20s to 30s. Medium build, all Geminis. <laughs> you know? You know? Or, or you open up the newspaper. Instead of getting your daily horoscope, they give you your daily ratio scope. A prediction for everyone's race. How would that sound like? <laughs> Caucasian. Today, like most of your previous days, still pretty much in your favor. <laughs> but your days of rising are numbered. <laughs> Best to go vegan or stand behind a woke cause and post about it on social media. <laughs> Diversity rules, you know, or like they do the compatibility shit. If you're a Chinese woman, you're highly compatible with Jewish men. If you're a Chinese man, you are most compatible with your mother. <laughs> Is that racist? Okay, I guess we won't use that part. Thank you! <laughs> Yeah, that's Jennifer's wing. That's the show. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> did we do it? Yeah, we did. <laughs>